I'm gonna let you know if it's a little bit spicy or very spicy. So there are six layers from... Already feeling very hot. So it's, bur it's burning my throat. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be looking for spicy food for breakfast, lunch and dinner in Shinju County. Spicy food isn't that popular in Taiwan but I'm going to try and find the spiciest food I can and I will give you a spice rating for each one. The first place I've come to today is this place here, it's called Brunch. Hopefully they can give me some spicy damping. So I will let you know how it is. So I asked for a cheese damping. They don't make it spicy. You just have to put your own spice onto it. So. So I'm going to try this now and I'm going to let you know if it's a little bit spicy or very spicy. So I just tried their homemade spice. Pretty spicy. Not the spiciest thing I've ever had but it's like actually quite hot. So I just found out that shortly this restaurant is going to be closing in May or June. To explain a little bit more, there's another customer here who is a regular here and he could tell you a little bit more about what's happening. Hello, I'm Hank. I mean, it is a list of restaurant for you. It's a local business. You have been around for almost almost 10 years. It's about to close. So if you want to try the egg roll, just come to here. Have you came to this restaurant many times in the past? Yeah, we come to this restaurant twice a week. Basically, we really love the flavor and the style of these restaurants. That was brunch, and spice wise, I'll give that maybe a two out of five. It was quite spicy when I put that on, but not the spiciest food I've ever had. I'm going to go into Shinju City for lunch and I will show you that once I get there. Many hours later. So it seems that a lot of places that I had in mind for spicy food are not open until five o'clock at the earliest. So I've just decided to forget lunch and go to the place that I was going to go for dinner which is across the street from here. It's called Sangu Maolu and they do very spicy food. So I'm going to go there now and try the spiciest food they have. So when you come to Sangu Maolu you choose these little cards at the front. So you just choose your ingredients, you give it to them and they will put it in a soup base for you and cook it. So I've chose some of my uh, cards that I want in my bowl. Now I'm going to give it to them and they're going to put it in a spicy soup that I'm going to choose. They have more than one type of soup but I'm just going to choose the spicy one. So there are six levels from no spice to this one. Thank you, Shishi. So now I've got my very spicy soup. So let's have a look at it. Now I have to wait a little while for it to cool down because I don't want to scald my mouth. I'll be back once it's a bit cooler. So 
first killed it a bit now and uh, now I'm going to start eating it and you might see my face go red not too bad I haven't tried the soup yet I'm pretty sure the soup is going to be the part that's going to be extremely hot look at that out that oily soup there that's probably where all the spice is and I've ate a few pieces now and it's already getting quite hot <clears throat> okay so now I'm gonna try the soup and this is already feeling very hot Parts of the soup seem to be hotter than others. <coughs> but I'm starting to sweat. <sighs> I don't know if my face is any redder than the camera, but I am sweating. This is very, very spicy. So the soup is cooled down, it's not scalding hot anymore, but still very very <coughs> spicy and burning my mouth. But I'm not sure if it's level 6 because this tastes about as spicy as I've had here before and I've had level 3 before so maybe it's not level 6 but it's still pretty spicy. It's not really burning my tongue, it's, bur it's burning my throat and that's where I'm really feeling it. <coughs> it seems more intense now than it did earlier. It may actually be level 6. Spicy on the throat for sure and also a bit spicy in the lips. <coughs> Hit my throat so hard I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 for spice because my, my throat is still yeah. Okay, numb feeling and it's still burning. I would recommend trying it. There are many Sangu Malus all around Taiwan, so you could find one. They're all very similar. So you can come to Sangu Malu and uh, decide if you want to try the hottest soup they have, or you could choose a lower level. So that was Sangu Maolu. They're all over Taiwan, so you should be able to find one in your area if you want to come and try their very spicy soup. It was very spicy, especially on my throat and my lips. Not so much my tongue, funnily enough. And it didn't last too long. Right now, it's just a few minutes later and I already feel like the, the heat's almost gone. So. If you like this video, you can click up here to watch the last video I made, which was one of my favourites and I highly recommend it. Click here to watch a random video of mine that you might not have seen, or you can click here to subscribe to the channel and help me reach 500 subscribers. I'm very, very close. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.